I'm out in the greenhouse here and I just wanted to quickly share uh, something I've noticed in growing vegetables in hydroponic systems. Uh, it's far superior. I found that the same seeds planted 30 days ago, for example, this is spinach, 30 days old from seed. One set of leaves in the soil, same seed, same conditions. In hydroponics, I've got one set of permanent leaves and another set coming in strongly. I'd say the plant's probably five times bigger. And it's not just the spinach, it's everything else. I've got Scottish kale, same thing, just dwarfs the one in the pot. And every other leafy green I have is just thriving so well in the hydroponics versus right next door here. I've got seedlings of greens and every one of them is still small, still got the initial leaves coming up. So I'm sold on hydroponics. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting going forward to watch the comparison of these. So here's my hydroponic setup. I actually have two, two independent hydroponic systems running, but the first one I built, I went to a hydroponic store and paid entirely too much money. But I got an expensive tote and I got these expensive clay balls, expanded clay balls. And this, uh, this amount of medium here cost me $50. It took two uh, big bags to fill this thing up. And uh, since then I've moved over to using just uh, Home Depot bags of, uh, I guess it's pebbles, little uh, pea gravel I guess they call it. So that was only about $12 for all this versus $50 for that. And this tub, I don't remember, but it was expensive. And this tub from Home Depot was about $12 or $13. And I also picked up some of these Rubbermaid totes. These are the 22 gallon plastic storage totes. Drill some holes in it for the uh, the water coming in and water going out. And that's about it. And to power the whole system here, I have uh, the water pump is on a timer. It pumps water seven times a day up into the medium, and then running 24 hours a day is a little air pump, and that runs two little fish tank air stones. And the only thing you really need to specialize is going to be the chemicals. I'm using the General Hydroponics brand, and this quantity here I think will last me over a year easily, the way it's going right now. And the other thing you might need would be some pH up or pH down. Our water here is quite acidic, so we've got pH down is all I seem to need. And here's the air pump I'm using. Little Eco Air 2 with two little ports to run two air stones per tank. And I bought a little Eco 185 little fish tank aquarium pump. And it suctions to the bottom of the tank. And that's about it. All you really need to specialize is the little flood and drain fittings. This is a half inch one to fill. And you drill a hole into your uh, the bottom of your, your tray here and you tighten this lock washer down. Make sure the washer is on the inside of the tray, not the outside. And this is just a baffle that prevents debris getting down there. I was a little confused at first. I didn't understand how the relationship was to the filling this tank up versus draining it. And you actually fill through the short guy. The overflow is through here. And then you're, I was wondering how, how does the rest of the water, this much water, get drained out? Well, obviously when the pump's turned off, the rest of the water comes out of this the fill so that was solved that it just wasn't clear to me at first and uh, they're basically the same thing one's a three quarter inch fitting for the drain and a half inch for the fill so there's never going to be any uh, overflow problems if the pump gets ahead of itself and you just buy these little risers here that stack up to whatever height you need for the overflow and you can get these on eBay or a hydroponic store they're pretty inexpensive and that's how that goes together. The system just kicked on right here, so it's right below the surface, about an inch down. If I can get to it, there's water right there. And to plant seeds, all I did was literally took like lettuce seeds in here and just sprinkled them. Worked it down a little bit, made sure the seeds are down about an inch. And I'm already getting little tiny seedlings coming up. You probably can't see them. But this has only been in here for about five days and I've got little seedlings coming up. 
Yeah, so inside these tanks here, I don't know if you can see it in the light, but it's draining right now. The overflow is coming back in there. Got two airlines going into air stones. The smaller hose is the uh, water being pumped up, and the big one's the water coming down. And they come out of the bottom of my tank here, and they were just right to go through the slats of my my bench. So that's it. They're both uh, tanks are on the same timer. It's a dual port timer, so they both kick on and off at exactly the same time. Uh, any questions, I'll try and answer them. I, I spent quite a bit of time researching this and watching videos, but uh, any specific questions, I can, I'll can, i try and answer.